False nostalgia. My art show. Guns and Roses. One of my favorite pieces. One of my first larger pieces. Getting money. Getting to the money. You can see he's up early. The cabin in the back. He's getting to it. This piece is a nostalgic piece. Um, kind of dedicated to my cousin Corey. Got his initials here. G for the Gower. The Halo, because he's an angel. Got nostalgia down here. He's an angel. Nostalgia is just the good memories I have with him. Rumors. I mean, as you can see, there's a lot of faces, a lot of chaos going on. And that's kind of my interpretation of rumors spreading this chaos. Wow. It's an abstract version of Bugs Bunny. I did a similar piece and I wanted to try something else with a character on this. Um, I, th I thought it turned out really well. I like the white with the red contrast on it. It's another good size piece. Um, good for anybody that's collecting. Uh, we got trenches here. Uh, this is just kind of my past, you know, metaphorically put together. There's a lot of shit coming at me, trying to figure it out, kind of feeling behind lines, um, against all odds. And I just added a lot to it, just to try and bring a lot of uh, chaos. School bus. Um, this is my first 36 by 48 piece I did. It's an abstract piece. Um, it was inspired by the magical school bus. Uh, and I really just love the colorways on it and how it all blended together. I added like the, the sun. You know, the grass, I wanted to give it that early morning walk into the bus field. You know, you got the breeze going. Um, this one right here is Happy Meal. Uh, this is more inspired by like, um, like an apocalyptic, apocalyptic town road sign. Um, like it's just been through it, it's been weathered, it's been all that, and you know, got marks and chips in it. It's just been up for a long time. It's kind of a feel I wanted to give to it. I like the big piece. The contrasting colors really made it pop. One of my favorite pieces, big time. This was Party. Um, I, this is when I first started doing this style. Uh, we were out of our house getting it fixed and I just had minimum stuff. This is oil stick and uh, acrylic paint. Um, was trying new things and uh, turned out turned out good. Nice. And then after that, I, I kind of jumped more into a, a more detailed style with pastels. Um, this is one of my favorite pieces. Um, this one's called Trap. It just kind of looks like a lot of things trying to get out, but it just can't get out. It's tangled up. Uh, this is uh, Devils, Devils <laughs> on my shoulder. Just uh, smiles like you, you're trying to do it, but it might be de 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 devious. Um, just a lot of character. I really love the, the colorways on that. This one's Hand Puppet. <coughs> More, uh, I, I got a lot of like Disney. Um, kind of characteristics in there. Um, a smiley face. Um, it's just more, it just spoke to me when I seen it, when I started finishing this art, I'm like, man, this is a hand puppet. A really good abstract version of a, like a Disney character hand puppet. Um, these two pieces right here. Uh, we took a trip to Arizona and I didn't have a journal or anything like that. So I was trying to remember as much as I could about things that I liked, the things that made me feel what I felt when I was out there. You know, the cowboys, the freedom of just working hard for what you get. Uh, the buffalo, it's kind of metaphor for 
you're free where you're at. If you're confined, you know, like they're, they're safe at parks and stuff like that, but you know, they've been hunting down. It's kind of the last of their freedom right there. So it's kind of contradicting with the cowboy still going after it. This piece is, uh, you water what you eat, you kind of get the cow in there. It's the human kind of turned blue, getting ill, not feeling good. It's the whole blend of you eat like shit, you look like shit, you know? Uh, this is the way things were. Um, why I titled that, um, it spoke to me because um, a lot of this was um, stuff I was mixing paint on and stuff, and then I'd go back and it would remind me of paintings I did and, and um, emotions I had for those different paintings. I added some characters here at the bottom, just random people, just kind of give that uh, character feel to it some relatability. Um, I, I think it really turned out great. Well, what about this guy? Oh, the big one, Milk Bone. Milk Bone, he has a story. I love this one. This is my first big piece in this style. It's all oil. It took me, um, uh, it took, actually didn't, I got, I got really into this one. Um, I actually had an original painting similar to this. I really liked it, and I was like, I think this would look big. I think good big. It started off with a lot of different colors and stuff, so I really reworked it a lot. It's very thick. There's lots of layers and chunks, and I really like chunky paint. Um, the inspiration behind this one is kind of uh, the beauty and the beauty of the beast, kind of. You know, there's dogs out there that beaten took care of and you get a rescue animal and they're one of the most loved animals you could possibly have. And this is just showing that there's beauty in the beast. This side was the original painting I started. Um, I was going, I was just trying a whole lot of things. Uh, I was trying compositions, colorways, this is one of my first paintings on a big canvas. Um, I was at a standstill for a while, and then when I came up with the idea for the milk bone painting on the other side of it, I decided to flip the painting over because I wasn't really too happy with it at the time, and it turned into this. And that all came from this little painting. That's where the inspiration came from. It's also for sale. And then now, this is more of my newer style, I'm moving into portraits. Um, a lot of these are um, trying to draw emotions, like nostalgic feelings. This one, I was a skateboarder. Um, I felt like this guy really represented everything that embodies a skateboarder. You know, he's fucking off. Um, he's got his magazine. He's got his own style. It's just rugged. Um, it's got some plants growing in the back. It's kind of just in a messed up place. And this one right here, I did this one really fast, uh, trying something, and it just turned out really great. Um, I like the way it looked. Um, but that's why at the end of the day, it came back with the title untitled. It looks good, but I could not find a title for it. This one's Iceberg Slim. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the movie, but you need to go see it. Um, it was based off someone in the 60s, 70s era. So I wanted to give it like that, that blue, you know, that, uh, that dark blue, like, uh, like that rich color feel that came from around that time, the browns, the purples. It's just a lot of colors around that area. I like to, to leave things a little more chaotic. It just shows character. Makes you think more, brings it alive. Um, this is my late night um, piece. This is off of some Netflix show I was watching. It was a gambler. Oh, no. 